Hey everyone, this is Richard of Foodworks and More. Today I'm going to show you how to make a pan-seared tilapia served on a bed of sautéed spinach with garlic topped with a chili lime butter and a corn relish. Now that might sound like a lot, but really it's, it's quite simple to make. It uses all fresh ingredients, it's very light, good for you, perfect on a summer day. Let's get started, shall we? We'll begin by making the corn relish. In a hot pan, add two strips of bacon, chopped small, and brown until it's crisp. About five to eight minutes. You figure about one strip of bacon per serving. When the bacon is done, remove it from the pan to drain and pour off all but a tablespoon of the bacon fat. To the bacon fat, add the corn from two ears of yellow corn. I prefer yellow corn over white corn because I feel it has more flavor. In fact, don't even get me started on white corn. I like to grill the ears of corn on the barbecue first for added flavor. You can also use this relish on chicken, fish, pork, or whatever meat you prefer. It's an excellent way to make use of leftover corn on the cob. Since I grilled the corn, I know it's already cooked through. If you choose not to grill it first, you'll need to cook it a little longer. Once the corn is cooked through, remove it from the heat and add the bacon back to the pan. Then add one diced tomato, about one third of a bunch of cilantro chopped, and the zest from a lime. Season it to taste with salt and pepper, stir it up, and set it aside. Doesn't that look tasty? Boy, I wish you could smell this. It smells really good. The next step is to make the chili lime butter. To a small saucepan over medium heat, add one quarter cup of unsalted butter. One medium sized shallot, chopped fine. One serrano chili, finely chopped. Now if you want a little less heat, you can substitute a jalapeno pepper. Or for more heat, maybe try some Thai chilies. Adjust the heat to your preference however you want it. Next, add a quarter teaspoon of salt and the zest and juice from a lime. Stir until the butter is completely melted and then set it aside. Now it's time to pan sear the tilapia. Heat about a third a cup of vegetable oil in a skillet over medium high heat. Season the tilapia fillets with your favorite seasoning. I like to use equal parts of fennel seed and coriander seed. I first toast them up in a dry pan to release the aromatics, then grind them into a powder with a spice grinder, or an extra coffee grinder if you don't have one. Sprinkle the spices over the fish and then dredge them in flour, knocking off any excess. Boy, look at those fillets sizzle. While the fillets cook, let's saute the spinach. Place a little olive oil into a hot pan. To this, add two cloves of chopped garlic. Stir it around, letting it steep for a bit. The spinach is going to cook pretty quick, so we want to give the garlic time to release its oils. Just make sure not to brown the garlic. Now this might look like a lot of spinach, but remember, when you cook spinach, it shrinks to about a third or a quarter of its original size. Kind of like a guy jumping into a cold swimming pool. Add the spinach to the hot pan and move it around. Be careful not to overcook it. We just want it lightly sauteed. Our fillet should be ready for turning. Depending on the thickness of the fillet, it'll take about two to three minutes per side to get it a nice light golden brown. 
If you don't care for tilapia, sea bass works just as well in this recipe. Once the tilapia fillets are a light golden brown on both sides, remove them from the pan. Now it's time to plate. Place some of the sautéed and shrunken spinach on a plate. Top the spinach with one of the tilapia fillets. Next, drizzle a little of the chili lime butter over the fillet. Finally, top the fillet with some of the corn relish. Alright, now, now the final test. Let's see how we do. See how that fish just flakes apart? That's a sign of a well-cooked fish. Not overcooked, well-cooked. Get some of the spinach, some of the corn. Mm. So good. Very light, flavors are very fresh. Right, this is like summer on a plate. Anyway, my name's Richard of Foodworks and More. I post videos every Wednesday. If you like this, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And for a more detailed recipe, you can visit my blog, foodworksandmore.com. We'll see you next time.